Uh, we wanted to recognize today uh, Judge, Chief Judge Gregory Fowler from Savannah, who was the winner of the Star Award for the uh, Judges Award for the state. Uh, Judge Fowler, uh, of course, from Chatham County State Court and has founded and run, presided over their DUIDWI court program since 2003. Um, very, his nomination letter was, was glowing and, and well-deserved, but uh, one thing I did want to mention in particular when we talk about sustainability, uh, their program they started as a pilot program back in 2002-2003 with a three-year uh, NHTSA grant. And of course, Judge Fowler knew that there was going to come a day when he had to figure out how they were going to sustain that program financially. And so I thought this was quite uh, creative and forward thinking. He went to the Board of Commissioners in Chatham County and convinced them uh, to pass a excise tax on alcohol by the drink in Chatham County. And they have funded their program with proceeds from that since. So local funded program sustained program uh, and have done great work uh, recognized across the state and in our nation for the work they've done there uh, in Chatham County. They've had uh, approximately 1,200 successful graduates over the arc of the last 12 or 13 years and so wanted to recognize Judge Fowler and uh, his wife is in attendance with us today so uh, everybody join me in Okay, we do have a video clip. Uh, Could I tell you that I have a commitment from Judge uh, Bond from down to uh, uh, St. Patrick's Parish this year for public service? Thank you. Great. Did you contribute to the program? <laughs> video presentation that we wanted you to be able to share with. Please proceed. 32 percent, that is the number of people around the nation who get a DUI and then get a second, third, or more. It is a growing problem that one local judge has been working to stop for more than 10 years now, and he is making a difference. Drew's Three's Andrew Davis shows you what's working. You do see the same people over and over and you get to start to learn their names after a while. Those people who have multiple DUI arrests and the desire to make a difference in their lives are why Judge Greg Fowler started Chatham County DUI Court back in 2003. You see people going to jail, serving their time, they get out of jail, they haven't learned anything about their disease, they haven't heard, learned anything about how to stop drinking. They just pick up right where they were and keep on doing what they were doing. So this program is designed to teach them something about alcohol and themselves. Through treatment, drug screenings, and more jail time if necessary, it's tough love with a purpose. It's getting all the, the players in place and putting all those uh, resources together and spending time with the individual. They learn that we're not really the bad guys, that we're just being hard because that's the only way that there is to change their behavior. And it's working. The national average for multiple time arrestees to reoffend is 32%. For the 1,200 people who have gone through Chatham County DUI court, it's just under 8%. We make a, a substantial effort to set pay people up for success because that's what we want. The, the only reason we have this court is uh, a participant's sobriety. That's the only reason. And if we don't make that happen, we fail. And failure is a potentially deadly option for everyone on the road. In Savannah, Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3. When Judge Fowler started DUI court here, there were just three in Georgia. Now there are 22 and more on the way. Right now there are 148 people in the program, and they are always accepting more who want to change. Again, uh, great, great public relations clip. Uh, and uh, as mentioned, Growing by the day, we're now at 140 uh, accountability courts across Georgia, and more looking to come online. That's my report, Mr. Chief. Thank you. Thank you.